Hello, friends. Today we're going to paint a cardinal sitting in some birch trees with a beautiful blue sky background. So in your kit, you should have a canvas, um, five colors of paint, two paint brushes, a larger one and a smaller one. And you're going to need to get a cup of water. It's also a good idea to cover your table or your surface that you're working on and um, make sure you ha maybe have some paper towels to the side in case you spill some paint. Um, another thing that you need, um, you don't have to have it, but I like to use masking tape to mask off my trees. So the first thing I'm gonna do for this painting is mask off my birch trees. So it's always a good idea in a co uh, composition to use an odd number of whatever it is you're painting. So um, that just gives usually gives some balance for some reason to your compos composition. Um, so I'm gonna do five trees. It would also work to do three trees. I'm gonna do one right here. So I'm just gonna put this tape and I, we're doing birch trees. So they're gonna go all the way to the top of the canvas, off the top of the canvas. We're not gonna actually see the top of the tree. Um, another thing I'm gonna do is, um, you don't have to use tape if you don't have any. Um, it just You just might have to do two coats of white paint for your tree. Um, and I like to just mask it off so I don't have to do so many coats. I'm actually gonna cut one of my, some of my tape so that my, this one will be a little bit thinner and um, you know trees aren't perfect so it, my cutting doesn't have to be perfect I'm just trying to mask off that white canvas okay so I'm gonna go ahead and mask off these five trees and then I will we'll come back and paint Okay, now I have my trees masked off. Um, now it's time to paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my blue, my bright blue paint. Um, I like to go from a dark to kind of a light at the top. So I'm also gonna grab my white paint. If you would like to, um, I don't like to use water when I blend paint. So if, but then that means some blue might get in my white. So a good, good idea is to maybe just pour a little bit of your paint out on the lid, or if you have a paper plate, that way you can use that paint and it, it won't get blue into your um, pure white paint. All right, I'm gonna start with my bigger brush. So you have two brushes, you have a big brush and a, a small brush. You're gonna start with your bigger brush and we're just gonna paint the background. Um, another important thing is to make sure that you paint the sides. Um, if you don't paint the sides of your canvas, it won't look finished. All right, so here we go. We're gonna just start with pure blue at the bottom. And it looks like I might need to do two coats of this. It's pretty thin, so, um, I'm going to do one coat and show you how to do it. And then I'll probably turn the camera off and do my second coat and uh, come back to you. So here I'm just starting with my pure blue at the bottom. Okay. And then as I, and I, and my tape is on there, so I can just paint right over that. That's going to mask off my trees. I will have to paint my branches over the blue. Um, and you can always tell with acrylic paint, if you can see the canvas through the paint, sometimes the paint, when you buy it already um, mixed, sometimes it's a little bit thin. Um, so, and I'm painting the bottom little edge of my canvas. So you can tell when you can really see the canvas through, if that paint is thin, that you need to um, do a second coat. If you buy tubes of paint and you kind of, it's a lot more expensive paint, like that professionals use, usually it's thick enough, but then there's also 
mixing mediums to get different viscosities of the paint. Okay, right here, I'm gonna start adding a little white. I'm just gonna put some white up here like this, just dipping it in that white. And I think I dipped it into my, my cup by accident. And then I'm gonna dip back in my blue. And this is just gonna kind of lighten that blue. I like to mix paint on the canvas because I really like the painterly quality of that. I don't like to mix it off my canvas and then paint it on unless I'm going for like a really specific color. But when I'm trying to do a little gradation like this, I just mix it right on my canvas and make sure you get those sides. Okay, I'm gonna get a little more white to put in here and I'm just gonna very quickly just mix, mix, mix. Okay, and that's just gonna give my background, I'm gonna put a little more blue here in the middle. It's just gonna give my background a little bit more gradation and um, it won't be so flat. It'll kind of give it some life. All right, I'm gonna let this dry and then see if I think I need to do a second coat. And right now, while I have this kind of white paint, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the top of my canvas. And I don't know if y'all can hear it, my dog's drinking some water. <laughs> it's a weird noise, okay. I'll get a tiny bit more white. I'm just gonna come from the top down with my white and try to get the lightest part of my blue at the top of my canvas. And still just putting some white on there. And just very lightly, actually, very lightly with my brush. I'm not pushing hard with my brush. I'm kind of feather painting, so just barely touching that canvas with the, the ends of my brush. There we go, that looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna rinse my brush off. Um, another tip is acrylic paint does not like water. So if you rinse your brush, if you get your brush wet, it's a good idea to get a paper towel. Let me go grab one. It's a good idea to get a, it's a good idea to get a paper towel and just kind of blot your brush. So now I'm going to let this dry a little bit and then maybe come back with a little bit more blue at the bottom. All right, it looks like my first coat is fairly dry. So I am going to do a little bit more blue at the bottom just to get a little bit of a a second coat and get that nice and dark. Um, oops, I had some white in there. There we go. Um, another thing, if you don't wanna wait for your, I mean, acrylic paint dries fairly quickly, but if you don't wanna wait, you can always grab a hair dryer and dry your canvas. If you're just itching to go and keep painting, just grab that hair dryer and yeah, there's white down there. So this is good to get this second coat of blue just to get it nice and even here at the bottom. All right, my background is dry. So now I'm gonna peel off my tape, get rid of that. And that's where I'm gonna have my trees. It's really satisfying pulling this tape off. my five trees. I'm also going to add branches onto these trees. Um, you can see how my gradation kind of from the dark to the light really kind of gives my canvas some life. All right, now you have two choices. You can paint your trees solid white or another option is to take a little bit of your brown and Put it on a plate or a separate, let me get a brush, a separate um, surface. You can use a towel, a paper, and then um, grab some of your 
grab some of your white. Let's pour a little white in here. So you can actually, let's do the white over here. And then I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of brown at a time. So you can add a little brown to this white and get a little bit of an off-white tree if you'd like, if you don't want like that pure white. Just make sure you make enough. I kind of prefer it to be a little bit off-white, not, not bright white, but either way works fine. There we go, I've got a little bit of an off-white color. Okay, now I'm gonna paint my trees. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just go right over where my, I masked off. And my edges are gonna get are gonna be a little bit wonky, but that's kind of how I want my trees. I don't want perfectly, you know, in nature, you usually don't get perfectly straight lines. So I really don't want those perfectly straight lines. This is obviously gonna be, I'm kind of going too fast. This is gonna be my thickest tree. So I'm just kind of going over and over you really um, want the thickest part of your tree at the bottom. And I kind of messed up up here and got it a little too thick at the top. I should have started at the bottom. So the nice thing about paint, you can always go back over it. You can always continue to change and adjust whatever you need to. And if I really make a super mistake, I can always take some of my blue and use that to kind of erase. All right, I'm pretty happy with that tree. So right here, you can see the difference in kind of the creamy white and the bright white. And I think this looks a little more realistic. All right, I'm gonna continue to get my trees painted and then I'll come back and show you what I'm gonna do with branches. So for these smaller trees, I just wanted to show you guys, I, I can't really use my brush flat because it's too thick. So I'm just kind of going along the edge like this to get my edge. And then I'm just using my brush kind of in a vertical way like this to spread that paint out. So that's for my thinner. Another option is to use your smaller brush. It's just awfully small to cover this area. So I just wanted to to show you guys that and I'm just gonna keep painting and I'll come back in a sec. All right, now I'm ready to do my branches. And um, the thing about branches coming off is they start out a little bit um, thicker and then they go to a thin kind of a twig. And so what you really need to think about is using that smaller brush that you have. And the other thing you need to do is right around here in the middle, decide where you want your cardinal to sit and make a little branch coming off for your cardinal. So you're gonna start it off a little thicker here and just go very slow and just kind of drag your brush and let it go thin like that. Um, so just put the thing about a stand of birch trees is, um, most of the branches are very high and they're thin. So you don't need a lot of branches and you're only going to put them high on your painting. So I'm going to continue to just paint some branches here. Um, when we make the bark, that's going to help cover up any mistakes that you might have made. So don't worry about it too much. Um, it's a, this is a very forgiving painting. Um, you can see I made that too thick there, so I'm gonna come up. Also, you know, don't ever be afraid to just let your brush strokes show because um, this is a painting, it's not a photograph. So it's okay to to see those brush strokes. All right, I'm trying to decide, am I happy? Do I want to put a little more? I think I'm happy with my, my branches. I don't want to overdo it and put too many branches. 
you know, if you want to, while you're doing this painting, maybe go take a look um, online, just, you know, at birch trees, a stand of birch trees and kind of see what, what they look like. That will give you an idea of kind of maybe how to do your branches. All right, I think I'm done with branches. I'm gonna let these dry and then I will come back, show you how to, actually we'll, we'll go ahead and do that right now. We're just gonna fix that right now. So I'm gonna take my bigger brush, get a little bit of blue and I'm just gonna paint right over that. And this is how we erase things with paint. I'm just gonna come right back over that. Boop, boop, boop. And over here, I'm just gonna erase that. And again, when I put my bark on, that will also help. All right, let me let this dry and I will be back.